map. Old post office. Here's their hotel. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Come on, Beckham. Stay with mommy. Come on. Hey, you need to pay attention or we're going to have to take the watch off. You have to stay with us, okay? we got to be safe. Hold the, hold the stroller, bud. Hold the stroller. Thank you. There you go. What are the days? Um, good morning. It's almost afternoon. We are finally getting out of our hotel room. I think we can go left here, babe. Yeah. Because that's the way we came in from. Okay, then go straight. Travels that way. Yeah. So you. So good morning. We are getting out of the hotel, getting out to stretch and walk and explore a little bit. I'm honestly just wearing this outside because it's cold, but. Um, totally I don't really have to wear it outside, just walking. But um, going the wrong way, he's trying to figure out where we can walk to and where we can go. It's pretty right, empty. Every restaurant is closed. There are no public restrooms, so we want to stay close by the hotel. But we're gonna get out and just explore a little bit. And at least it's not raining. At least it's really nice outside. It's chilly, but at least it's nice. Told you it was gonna be hard to do it over here. You have to do it on the other side, like you were. At least we have a scooter, so he's having a little fun. But y'all, here's the National Mall, completely blocked off where we can't even get to the grass. All the centers blocked off. What? Right here you can. Right there you can get to the grass. Okay, maybe a little bit. There it is, Washington Monument. So we're gonna get closer. He wants to walk, Daddy. Okay, right, get yeah. out and walk, baby. But stay by us, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew that was what you wanted to do. Hold mommy's hand, my little baby Brooks. That is fun. This is a pretty good shot of it. <laughs> you gonna do that again? I'll take video. Okay. Back up. No, 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 no. I know, you saw a puppy. You gotta stay by us, okay? Alright, Beckham's been trying this trick of Ryan is scooter down the hill. All right, we're ready for you. Remember, don't hit your face on the concrete. <laughs> Good job. Woo, that was a beautiful stop. Yeah. Good job. I'm gonna do my break. I know, you just slowed down. Oh, I'm gonna do my break and see what I did. <laughs> you guys, now we're on the back side of the Washington Monument. Cross the over the street here. And now looking at this really neat World War II memorial. I know normally have the water on, but it's cold, obviously, so they shut it all off. Do not have your scooter. We're not riding the scooter here. Yeah. Okay, okay, oh my goodness, I know it. I, I think you need to sit in the stroller, bud. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, goodness. So Atlantic and then the Pacific. That's cool how they did that. This is really cool, the Price of Freedom. Really beautiful display that they did with all these gold stars. Here we mark the Price of Freedom. Each gold star, there's like four, over 4,000, represents 100 lives lost, so over 400,000 in the World War II. Oh my goodness, story of my life, you guys. Hold hand, hold hand. Uh, Brooksy, you need to get out of the national pool. <laughs> Brooks, move your feet, honey. It's too cold and you're gonna get wet. <laughs> Here it is, you guys, the Lincoln Memorial. Honey, come on. Let's go, we're gonna keep walking. Stand up, come on. Oh goodness, okay. Oh, no. We don't, uh, Beckham, you're older. You need to make good choices, thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, don't fall. Oh no, we don't swim in this. You will get in big trouble if you get in the water. That's why I was telling Brooks to get out. You ready? Well, I think the bag. We just gotta grab the bag. Well, I mean, they're leaving all their stuff here. You wanna just cover it with the blanket? At least? Okay, we're gonna cover that. We'll be right here, yeah, so. Somebody takes off with it, then <laughs> there goes our stroller. Police here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Okay, Brooks, you ready? All right, you guys are about to go up to the very top to the Lincoln Memorial. Look at that shot. And you can kind of see the Capitol way back in the back. We haven't made it to that side yet. It's a long walk. Okay, come on, baby. Hand, Brooks, hand. Forever, or until. And this temple is in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the union and memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. Wow. Definitely got a little emotional walking in here, y'all. All right, we're starting to walk back along the other path or down to the other end. Um, that was super sobering. Like, we're now getting to the Vietnam Memorial. So there's like a list of names along this wall. Anyway, it's just, I think that given the circumstances and where everything is right now in our country, that means visiting here is even more profound. I think it's like hitting us even harder. And I don't know, it just got emotional back there and just standing there and seeing where Martin Luther King Jr. stood and it's just insane. Um, it's a lot, but I'm really grateful we can be here to do this. We had this planned already before all the craziness happened, but this whole past year has been crazy anyway. So y'all, this is just, I'm so glad we can come. The boys don't get it. The boys don't know anything. They're just like, cool. <laughs> but um, anyway, check this out. This is the start of the memorial for the Vietnam War. And I guess they've got, look at every single name, babe. I wonder how many, I don't even know. Everybody's name is on this wall and it goes all along there. We found food trucks. Everything, you know, restaurant-wise is closed, but yay! And Bastion's passed out. Sure Poor little guy. He's got this little bloody thing, but I think it's just because it's so cold. I don't know what that is. And then Brooks finally passed out. He fought it hard, Don. He was screaming at us while we were walking. Anyway, yummy! We're currently trying to figure out how to get to the White House, but like windows are boarded up. There's everything's barricaded. Oh, and there's someone speaking now. Well, all of you guys to get organized. This is part of people are making statements like this, holding conferences and rallies for the few factors of all over the country. It's Seattle, in the in New York, in Los Angeles, all over the country right now. I was gonna take a break. So I thank you for being part of today's action. In the wake of the war that happened on Wednesday, look, there's no more important thing that you could be doing right now, for real. They're getting this message out that Trump needs to get out now. They lost. Crack up. Drive up the U-Haul to the White House. Lock this is crazy. And get the hell out of here. Trump, wow. it's out now. Wow. <laughs> well, no, Becca, get off there. Get off there. Okay, so we're going to keep walking. Becca, come on. It's interesting that they're like getting out. Get out now. Whatever inauguration isn't until January 20th. So that makes no sense. But y'all keep, keep doing your little crowd. <laughs> I mean, like, let's just respect what it is. Do what we need to. But y'all, look at this. All this is boarded up. We're not gonna get to see the White House, babe. Nope. <laughs> we literally made the biggest block, biggest square. I can't believe there were that many camera crews there for that. I know. Wow. There's nobody there. Yeah. There's nobody there. It's actually quite, quite yeah. pitiful. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. <sighs> that just yeah. gives you some perspective. Yeah. You saw the hundreds of thousands of people there that were at the yeah. Trump rally. And then you see those few people there on the Biden, whatever that protest or was, establishment. And I think everyone's just angry. Everyone's just upset and hurt. And I don't know what it's going to take for everybody to be reunited. But yeah, I, don't, I don't know, y'all. We need to be praying, praying on our hands and knees for this country. 
Y'all see that? Behind the trees, that's the White House. We've been walking and walking. This is the closest vantage point we can get and it's still pretty pathetic. We are super far away. We're by this park. Who's that guy? And everything's barricaded. Everything is fenced and there's police and it's just crazy, you guys. It's so sad. But yeah, at least, at least, um, at least now we can say we've seen the White House. <laughs> Person, even though it's far, far away. Okay, Beckham. Remember, we're gonna walk across when it's time. Wait, how is it flying? Woo! Turn right. left onto Constitution Avenue Northwest. We're getting close, you guys. That right there is the Capitol. We got back to our hotel. Took like a good 45-minute, hour-long break Thank just to kind baby. of rest, fed stretch our legs, fed the baby. Bastion's fed. Now they're all mm. chilling. Not freaking nope. out. No. Oh, look at no. Yeah, see, Bastion's asleep, baby. Is he really? Yeah, no. he's asleep. All right, we can Come walk, on. Beckham. Right, let's go. Walk hey. your scooter. Yep, Beckham, there walk are a lot it. Of cars coming, so be careful. Walk it. Stay okay. Fun. Yep. All right, so we're making our way to the Capitol as we speak. It's like a 25 minute walk from our hotel, but we got to do it. We have to see it, you guys. We have to see it up close after all that. We got to we gotta get closer and get a look sees ourselves. Here it is, everybody. It's as close as we're gonna get. Close as we're gonna be able to get. They've got a fence up. Lots, it looks like that might be military blocking there, but uh, police cars up and down this. And there's another fence over that way, but there was a way to get a little closer. So we took it. Yep. Look how pretty that is at night. This right here is the perfect spot. I think I found it. Beckham's over there. <laughs> We've got some really cool statues. There is the Lincoln Memorial far, far away. It's a long walk to get over to where we were earlier today. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. I'm coming, bud. Wait for me, please. It's pretty chilly. It's like in the mid 30s. And uh, where'd he go? Beckham, come here, please. Oh, he's want me to take his picture. <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna take a picture there on the steps under this under oh, the statue. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna try to walk around some more too, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Had two babies crying. So now I'm holding Bastion and holding Brooke's hand. Beckham's on a scooter. And leave us pushing an empty stroller. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. We still need it to hold all of our junk. But, and if the kids do get tired, it's just funny. This boy was not having, he's like, I want my mommy. Hold me, mommy. Hold me, mommy. Mm. You guys, today has been such a great day. It's our 11th wedding anniversary, January the 9th. And like I said yesterday, um, our 10th wedding anniversary, Levi was deployed, so we didn't even get to see each other. So the fact that we're even together today is a big deal when you're a military spouse. Most anniversaries are usually spent apart. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? We're usually spent apart. So one, the fact that we're together is amazing. Two, we got a little weekend getaway to spend with the family. We will be driving back tomorrow and we'll try to do some other things maybe in the morning before we head out of town. But uh, I'm so glad we got to do this and just kind of see DC. It wasn't what we had hoped, but between the virus and then the protests and riot that happened on the 6th, just kind of changed things up. But I am grateful. Aren't we? We're so blessed. Yeah, one good thing is there's not been much traffic. DC is usually cram packed and there's like not that much traffic. Anyway, all right, we're gonna head home. Ooh, it's getting late. We're getting hungry. It's six o'clock. You hungry? Happy, happy anniversary dinner, babe. Sorry, awesome. <laughs> this is good. Well, it'll be good to feed all of us, the kids at least. Is that barbecue sauce? Uh -huh. Oh, I have a ketchup at first. Where's ketchup? We got ketchup too, baby. Get your clothes on. I'll get Brooks. Mm-hmm. 
got the boys to sleep. Y'all, this room, we lay in bed. <laughs> the ceilings are massive. The boys are asleep. We're headed to bed. Happy anniversary again, babe. Happy anniversary. <laughs> We've had a great trip. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Toodles!